All right, so let's talk about angles, specifically types of angles you might encounter on the SAT, ACT, or in high school math in general. There are four types of angles you'll encounter, acute, right, obtuse, and straight. Acute angles are less than 90 degrees, so they look something like this. Right angles form 90 degree angles, which are symbolized by this. Obtuse angles are greater than 90, so they're generally wider than this. And straight angles are just straight line segments or straight lines. They equal 180. So some angle facts and terms you might need to know. Complementary angles always add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles will add up to 180. So if you have two angles here, this is a right angle, these two angles, x and y, would be complementary. If we have a 90 degree angle here, and then these two angles here, x and y, these three angles would be supplementary angles, adding up to 180. A way to remember this would be C comes before S, so 90 comes before 180. Another quick fact you might need to know. Here we have four right angles. The sum of angles around a point will always add up to 360. So we have a point here, and we have all these angles here. They all add up to 360. It forms a circle. So some more angle facts and terms you might need to know. Angles are adjacent when they share a vertex and a side. So in the previous example, we had something that looked like that. These angles are adjacent. They share a vertex, a point here, and a side here. Vertical angles are equivalent and are created when two lines intersect. So we have an X here. This angle here and this angle here are vertical angles. They're going to be equivalent. So if this were 60 degrees, this would have to be 60 degrees. So if this were 120 on this side, this would have to be 120 on this side. So these angles straight across are vertical angles, and they'll always be equivalent. When an angle or a line is bisected, it's divided into two equal parts. So we have an angle here. Let's say this line segment bisects this larger angle. That means that these two angles have to be equal. We have a line, and let's say this vertical line bisects this horizontal line. That means that this and this, these two line segments, are of equal length. So moving on to parallel lines. If we have two lines that are parallel, they're equally spaced and will never touch. So what that means is you have lines A, B, and C, D. You'll generally see it represented by two vertical lines like this, which means they're parallel. So that means that this line segment here, xy, is equal to the length of EF. So sometimes you'll encounter questions that involve parallel lines and angles created between them. So let's say we have A, B, C, D again, and these lines are parallel. You'll have line xy that'll intersect them both. The angles created have some special facts associated with them. Angle 1 here will be equal to angle 1 here because they're vertical angles. Angle 1 will also be created down here, and it'll be equal to this because of vertical angles too. So you'll have four angles that are all the same measure. Same can be said for this angle here. Angle 2 will be equal to angle 2 down here and because of vertical angles, will be equal to the angles down here. So as you can see here, AB is a straight line, which means that angles 1 and 2 will always equal 180 degrees because they're supplementary angles. So on the test, you'll occasionally encounter questions asking you what this measure is given angle 1's degree measure, which should be easy to figure out. All you need to do is 
know that 1 plus 2 here will give you 180 degrees. Subtract angle 1 from that, that'll give you this value, and that value is always equal to this value, which will get you the answer. Now if you have two lines that are perpendicular, they intersect and create right angles. That just means that you have A, B, C, D. AC is going to be perpendicular to BD. This is a symbol for perpendicular, which means that you create two right angles here. All right, so that's pretty much it for this episode. Here's some questions if you want to review some more stuff on angles. And like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below, and give the video a like and subscribe if you found it helpful.